Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm gonna teach you how to make some Rasta pasta. That's right, today we're gonna make some delicious Rasta pasta. So let's get into this video. into a pot I am going to add in some heavy whipping cream I am adding in two cups of heavy whipping cream two to three cups so to this pot of heavy whipping cream um, I have my temperature set on a medium low heat okay because we're gonna try to melt some cheeses in here I'm gonna add in some Parmesan cheese and I'm gonna tell you right now, add in you about a cup of Parmesan cheese, okay? So that's Parmesan cheese. Then I am going to add in some Italian style cheese blend. I'm gonna add in about a half a cup of that, okay? So that's the cheeses that I'm using. Now, if you wanna trade your own cheese, you can. I'm gonna to start to add my seasonings in. I'm not adding any extra salt because the seasonings that I'm adding will have some salt, okay? So I'm using some chicken bouillon. And you only need about two teaspoons. 
of the chicken bouillon. I'm gonna add in some garlic seasoning, garlic powder. Okay, so that's some garlic powder. I say use about three teaspoons, two, two teaspoons. Okay. I'm gonna add in this jerk seasoning since it's rasta pasta. And jerk seasoning is spicy. Okay, and that's about a tablespoon of the jerk seasoning, y'all. About a tablespoon. I'm gonna add in some red bell pepper, some green bell pepper, and some onions. And yes, these were the frozen vegetables. Okay. And I know some of y'all are like, why you ain't melt the cheese first, blah, blah, blah. I don't want my milk to burn. It's gonna be just fine. Everything is gonna marry together, watch. And I'm just gonna add in a small amount of black pepper. I'm gonna taste it at the end to see if I need to add any more jerk seasoning. So just about a teaspoon of black pepper. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna allow this cheese to melt down into this heavy whipping cream, like so. If I need to add in more cheese, I will. Okay. So let's let this melt down. Okay, everybody. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna add my meat. So this is the chicken and the steak. And I have this turned down to like four. I'm gonna add my noodles that I cook um, according to the package and they are al dente. I might add a few more of these bell peppers and these onions because you can't hardly see them. Okay, so now I'm gonna add my noodles. Now they usually use rigatoni noodles, but this is what I had. So this is what I'm using to make this delicious pie, a rasta pasta today for my family. It has been raining cats and dogs here in Georgia. I live in Columbus, Georgia, and we've been getting some heavy rain. So this is something that was quick and easy for my family. Okay. Two daughters that are in nursing school, so they, you know, they get ready to start that Monday. And one of them that work tonight, and she's doing a 12-hour shift. Okay, so she'll get home by 6:30 in the morning, 6:45. And I know she's gonna want something to eat. So I'm mixing this up, and I'm gonna allow this to. Mary together for a few minutes. Okay, everybody, here we have a delicious bowl of Rasta pasta. If you didn't know how to make it before, now you do. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And the jerk seasoning that I was using was Walker Woods jerk seasoning. And I got it out of Publix, so you can find the Walker Woods jerk seasoning in Publix, okay? And it tastes really, really good. This is so delicious, and it is a flavorful, fully, fulfilling meal for your family. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Leave lots of comments down below. Peace. Have a beautiful day.